Good day, Stars Mill, and welcome to Coach's Corner, the segment where we interview Stars Mill's coaches. Today I'm here with defensive coordinator for the football team, Coach Schmidlkoffer, a.k.a. Coach Schmitty. Coach Schmitty, how are you doing today? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. So, let's first talk about the past. How are you thinking about with the past experience that you had as a defensive coordinator looking to change up the defense and make a big attack for the offense this year? Well... It, it's key to have good guys working with you, and Coach Mann and Coach Cooper, and uh, uh, you know, and Coach Enlow, they've done a they've done a great job of, you know, buying into the system, and we kind of been working together, especially Coach Mann, Coach Cooper, and myself. We work together for quite some time now, so it's key to do to to being good at anything is consistency on the coaching staff, and you know that's that's kind of where we're at. Um, and, you know, we do a good job, and we have a new coach this year. Also, Coach Layton, who's a community coach that came to us from Griffin, and he's done a fantastic job with the interior defensive alignment. So we have five coaches on defense, which really helps. So that's step one, and then we've got a bunch of unselfish players that's kind of bought into what we do, and we've played pretty good. Last week was a little bit frustrating, but – the first two games we played very good, and last week we just ran into an opponent that just pushed us around a little bit. And next I want to talk about how are you preparing the team week in, week out to take on these matchups? Same way. We don't change our routine. We, we watch film. We give the guys uh, a, uh, a, a indication of what their best, you know, four or five best running plays are, their two or three best pass plays, and we try to take that away and make them do something else. And it's the same routine every week, and I think that's why the guys are comfortable because they like that routine. We give them a scouting report on Thursday, and you know, and then they go out and we try to execute it on Friday night. And who do you think are some of the guys on the defense that you definitely have your eye on? Oh man, we well the good thing about it is we've got some some veteran guys that's been with us for a while. Uh, you know, Art at Hodes we as, as move uh, position, he went to the Mike linebacker. Wes Haney got hurt, and Wes has had a lot of game experience. He got hurt in the Northgate game, so we didn't have Wes this week. Of course, Cole Bishop, who's, who's been playing a lot. And then we got some young faces, man. We got we got you know, Carter Curtis is a senior who's really come on for us interior. Uh, we've got uh, Malachi Shaver who's come come on for us, some, some sophomores. Um, a lot of guys that's helping us, you know, uh, Colin Bartek, Barrett, Schmittelkoffer is one that's come in and helped some. Uh, then you got Barzak, who who has worked uh, worked real hard as a senior. And then we got Jonathan Heigl at corner and Nathan Kern. So we've got a lot of guys. And there's some guys in there I've missed too. You know, um, that that's just kind of like a it's kind of like a defense by committee. There's really no superstars. Just a bunch of guys that try to just try to help each other and, and do the best they can. So with that being said, let me go back to Wes. And there's been a lot of curiosity on his status and when he's going to be coming back. Can you talk to me about him real quick? Well, the good news was I don't think it was as serious as we originally thought. The bad news is is that it's still discomfort, so we don't really want to push him back before region play. We don't want to, you know, this game against Sandy Creek is, you know, it's an in-county in rival and it's, it's, it's fun to a lot of people to watch, but unfortunately they're not in our region. So it's kind of like a game that we want to, we want to go in there and obviously we're going to go try to win it, but, you know, we, we also want to come out of there healthy and, and uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll see how Wes, Wes does. And if he, uh, he responds to treatment, he should be back, you know, in maybe a couple, three weeks, hopefully. So within the out-of-region games you started playing, what in those games have you been seeing and could possibly be an indicator of the season in region play? Well, we've gone against three. Well, we started off with Callaway, who's number one in 2A, and they're very, very talented. Then we played Mount Zion, who's greatly improved. They, you know, they beat Stevenson the other night, and then we ran into Northgate, who's always well coached, and, and, and we had a very good night that night. And then then Callaway, Callaway's going to fight for the third or fourth probably seed in their region, and uh, and and they're in a very tough region themselves. So we felt like we, and then of course Sandy Creek, and everybody knows how good Sandy Creek is. They do a good job over there. They got good players and good coaches. So. You know, we feel like we'll be tested before we go and get in the region. Of course, you got you know you got the Riverdales and the Griffins and the Whitewaters and all the guys in the region that they can all. All guys know that we can be beaten any given week. We got to prepare. 
And so you got the big matchup, even though it's out of region, you're going up against Sandy Creek with a high-flying offense. What's going on in your mind and the mind through the defense when you're going into that game? Just, you know, hopefully we can we can get off the field on third down, which was a big problem the other night, you know, and you can't give up the big one. We really didn't give up the big play the other night. They just, uh, Chapel Hill just kind of grinded us out. But um, Sandy Creek's explosive. They got a lot of good players. They got a lot of Division One players, and they're doing exactly what they should be doing with Division One players, and they're well coached. We know the, that staff very well. They come over here and throw against us, you know, in the summer. So, um, and they're well coached, and the guys do a great job. It's just going to be. It's just think it's got good players. So. We're going to have to limit them to big plays. And if we don't, you know, it'll be a long night. If we do, we'll, we might be right there. You know, we might be there at the end. Final thoughts? On? Just this interview? Oh, Getting no. Getting prepared for oh, the next yeah. region? No, you guys do a great job. Games. We appreciate all the uh, the effort and time you all, you know, give our players, uh, you know, publicity out there. Because, you know, it's a media, it's a, it's a social media world now. So you can put this stuff on podcast and things like it's it's pretty cool to what y'all do and then and then getting you know in the ins and outs of the program so we appreciate all the stuff that y'all do too thank you much we really appreciate that and there you have it guys go to sandy creek this friday night at 7 30 for kickoff against sandy creek it's going to be a great game from coach Mitty and the terrific thomas hendy behind the camera i'm daniel stackhouse cheers fellas go panthers <laughs>